as amca program is gaining momentum in india most of the designing for the stealth shaping of amc has already been done to be specific the advanced technologies to make amc a stealth fighter range is all in a finishing stage the main constraint for indian air force and amc program is the unavailability of an indigenous engine we all know that french aerospace company safron that manufactures engine for rafale fighter jets has expressed its willingness to help india develop its first indigenous fighter aircraft engine safron also mentioned that it is willing to even transfer the technology and this could be the way forward for first indigenous fighter aircraft engine in india in addition to this france also made a fresh effort and pitched its proposal for co-development of the kaveri engine for the indian light combat aircraft program so even if safron helps in developing the kaveri engine this upgraded unit is not going to be considered for the next batch of 83 lcas to be made in india because those jets are likely to be powered by engines supplied by united states general electric so according to the sources 40 tejas mark 1 and 83 tejas mark 1a will be powered by f404 g in 20 engines and f414 ins s6 after burning engines will be sourced for 200 tejas mark 2 coming to the amca program it is also confirmed that 40 amca mark 1 will be powered by g f414 ins 6 after burning engines till a locally developed after burning engine is ready for the amca mark 2 so with 360 plus jet to be powered by g414 or 404 family engines the whole fleet will require nearly 1300 engines and its number will only grow if india decides to stick with 414p engines for the amca mark 2 also hl plans to develop lead in fighter training based on trainer variant of tejas mark 1 which means there would be more demand for the american manufactured ge engines so american engines will not only dominate the indian fighter fleet even if indian air force never inducts any american fighter jet in its fleet so this makes the indian air force fleet vulnerable to sanctions and restriction on the supply of spares to india in the event of any relationship fallout with us government in order to avoid such dependency on america india has to locally develop at least two engine variants with the foreign aero engine maker with the phase the indigenous engine development is going looks like india will require at least 10 years for the new engine to be ready for the production let's hope indian defense expedites the indigenous engine development and successfully come up with a locally developed engine at the earliest so this was a quick update on how american ge engines are going to dominate the indian air force fleet and what can be done to overcome this thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it and also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section thank you